Hey y'all, my name is Teresa Wellborn, and some of you may have heard I'm starting a podcast. I think many of us live a very full life. The pandemic has slowed some things down, but life is still a lot these days. The juggling of work demands and your child's schoolwork, all the necessary errands and appointments in between, and oh, by the way, the inspection sticker on your car is out of date. And oh yeah, you forgot the dentist appointment, the one that you've already rescheduled two times. And also, when is the last time you and your partner went out on a date? For some of you, it might be feeling as if you're constantly managing doctor's appointments and trips to the grocery store and visiting with your adult children across the country, holding in tears as you visit by FaceTime. Life is full. And then there are all the things we hold inside, your heart so big, holding so much joy and sorrow, both your own and the world's. It is a lot. What I have discovered through the years is that a few good words each day helps me through. It's like an anchor in my day, a poem or a blessing, a psalm or a reading, just a few words strung together by thoughtful writers, and I feel as if I've been heard and seen, comforted or maybe even convicted. With some intentional time with good words, I am ready again to open to the world and the people and the things of my life. And that is what I'm hoping to share with y'all with this new daily podcast called Take These Words. The first episode will drop on Monday, October 4th, and we will drop additional episodes early each morning. You can find it on Apple Podcast or Spotify, and we'll also have a link available on our website. Listen anytime, when you're cooking or commuting, when you're drinking your first cup of coffee or taking a walk, it will be fairly brief, just a few minutes each day, where I'll share with you words from thoughtful writers, like these words from John O'Donohue, a late Irish writer. I'm going to leave with you this blessing for the morning that he wrote. Take these words. All that is eternal in me welcomes the wonder of this day, the field of brightness it creates, offering time for each thing to arise and illuminate. I place on the altar of dawn the quiet loyalty of breath. May my mind come alive today to the invisible geography that invites me to new frontiers, to break the dead shell of yesterdays, to risk being disturbed and changed. May I have the courage today to live the life that I would love, to postpone my dream no longer, but do at last what I came here for and waste my heart on fear no more. Friends, I'm so excited to share this with you and I look forward to spending a little time with you each day. Remember that you are good, that you are beloved, and you are enough.